Swimmers and spectators of the West Side Natatorium have been left dealing with hot temperatures after two AC units stopped working. Tonight, officials with the city of El Paso say they are doing everything possible to fix the situation, but parents are worried. ABC 7's Rosemary Montañez spoke with them and she filed this report earlier tonight. The lifeguards were fanning themselves. That's a safety hazard. Pretty hot. Yeah, it's uh, hard to stay here for a long period of time. You can feel it uh, become sweaty. <laughs> it's, it's unhealthy. It's inhumane. It's way too hot in here. Parents are calling on the city of El Paso to fix the two AC units that stopped working unexpectedly. When you're down there, you really don't feel it. However, I've also been up here, and when it's packed for competitions, there is no circulation. And the lighting that is on right now, it's just emanating heat. It's really not pleasant and it's a health hazard. This is video from Saturday. The facility was already experiencing the same issues. You can see swimmers and spectators in attendance, creating warmer conditions inside. City officials say they are working on fixing this problem ahead of this weekend's border swimming summer swim team meet. This mother says her son felt the difference when getting out of the water. It's very suffocating for us as spectators, and I don't even want to imagine for the children that are swimming. In my case, I have a nine-year-old son, and yesterday he was exhausted after getting out of the water. There is no air, no ventilation. But this man says he hasn't noticed the conditions. I swim for about an hour, and because I'm in the pool, I really don't feel the air conditioning kind of go off like it's been, I guess. Others hope the issue gets resolved ahead of another swim meet. Property taxes are high. They built this facility to attract more competition. But then we cannot attract competition if we don't have a working facility. As simple as that. And unfortunately here in El Paso, there's not many Olympic sized pools. So we need to have a working facility. Rosemary Montañez, ABC7. The city also said ahead of the competition, it's planning on reducing the occupancy of the facility to help manage the temperature. The city is also providing a cooling center next to the natatorium as another option for parents to wait.